Number 20, a 45 gram aluminum spoon with a specific heat of 0.88 joules per gram degree Celsius at 24 degrees Celsius is placed in 180 mils, which is 180 grams of coffee at 85 degrees Celsius, and the temperature of the two become equal. It equals out. Letter A, what is the final temperature when the two become equal? Assume that the coffee has the same specific heat as water. Cool. All right, let's get down to business. So we've already kind of did a couple of questions like this, but just to briefly recap, right? They're shooting out keywords here. They're talking about specific heat. They're talking about different temperatures and they're talking about basically bringing two substances together. In this case, an aluminum spoon is being placed in a cup of coffee. When all of this happens, the first, uh, the first, te- uh, the first temperature, <laughs> The first formula that comes into my mind is this formula. Okay, so it's ms delta t equals negative ms delta t. Now, the question is, I color-coded this for a reason, because A, I love colors, right? Um, But B, (laughs) um, red, in my case, stands for the substance that is getting hot, and B stands for the substance that is getting cold. The first thing that you have to figure out is, which of these two is getting hot and which of them is getting cold. The easiest way to figure this out is to just look at what's happening with the temperature. It makes sense that if a temperature is decreasing, it's getting colder and it's losing heat. The Q is going to be negative, right? Or an AKA, you will be on the negative side. If the temperature is rising, it's getting hotter, you're gating heat, the Q is going to be temp- you know, positive, and you don't have this negative in front of it. So how do we figure this out? I like to draw a chart and I put the two substances on both sides. So I have aluminum. I'm just going to label it AL for the element on the periodic table. And I got coffee. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to say coffee. Let's look at the temps, right? They said that a 45 gram aluminum spoon was at 24 degrees Celsius. This was before they were being placed. It was initially at 24 degrees Celsius. So the TI is 24. Cool. And the coffee, right, was initially at 85 degrees Celsius. So it makes sense, right? Coffee's hot, right? The spoon, before you place it into the coffee, should be like, you know, room temp. And yeah, 24 degrees Celsius makes kind of sense. TI equals 85. And the final temperature, when they come together, became equal. Did they tell me what that temperature was? No. But I know that the final temp between these two have to be the same. So I'm going to label them both as X. This is a pretty important concept for heat transfer. The final temp between the two substances that are coming together are always going to be the same temperature. Now, we have to figure out which one is gaining in temp and which one is losing temp. The key to this is knowing that the final temp is always going to be in between the two temperatures. So to kind of visualize it, I don't care what temperature you pick, just as long as it's, in this case, between 24 and 85. So let's theoretically say that my final temp is going to be somewhere around 70 degrees. Cool. Now we can kind of see for aluminum, and maybe if I just move this over a little bit, sorry guys. For aluminum, right, from 24 to 70, it's going up. The temperature is rising. It's getting hotter. This has to be the positive side. So this has to tell me that since my temperature is increasing, I know that I'm on the positive side. I have a positive heat. I'm going to be gaining heat. And then the same for the other side, 85 to 70, it's dropping. So since my temperature is dropping, I know that I'm on the negative side. So over here. So perfect. This side is aluminum. I'll just put AL. AL, and this side is the coffee. Beautiful. Now let's put in our numbers. I'm going to put in everything I know for the aluminum on the red side and everything that I know for the coffee on the uh, 
blue side. So M stands for mass. They told us that the aluminum was 45 grams. So this is going to be 45. The S is the specific heat, and they did tell us that number. They did tell us that the specific heat of aluminum was 0 0.88, and that's joules per gram degrees Celsius. But now I don't really know the delta T, but I can kind of make up a formula for it, right? We know, and if I just put it down here, that delta T equals TF minus TI. So for my aluminum, delta T would be my final temperature, which is X minus my initial, which is 24. And that is what I'm going to put over here. Now moving on to the coffee side, the mass they told me was 180 grams. So I know this, 180 grams. They didn't tell me specific heat, but they did tell me that the coffee had the same specific heat of water. This is the only one in which they want you to memorize, okay? Water specific heat is 4.184, so let me write this down, 4.184 joules per gram degrees Celsius, or just memorize 4.184. Same thing as before, we just have to write the delta T as a formula, so delta T for the coffee would be final, which is X minus 85, which is the original. Now we're ready to plug everything in. So let's go for it. Maybe I'll plug it in. I'll start it over here. 45 times 0 0.88 times X minus 24 equals negative. Let's put in all those blue values. So we got 180 times 4.184. And then we have the delta T, which was X minus 85. Double parenthesis. Ooh, that's not scary. We got this. Okay, so now this just basically just comes down to algebra. What I would do is I would multiply these two numbers first, just to kind of get them as one number. So 45 times 0.88, I get 39.6, and that's x minus 24. This is all going to equal a negative. What do we got here? 180 times 4.184, big number, don't be scared, 753.12, and then that's x minus 85, okay, cool. Now, this is distributing, guys, <gasps> so much fun, right? <laughs> I have two things in my parentheses, I have a number outside of it, this is multiplying, but you got to be fair. Got to multiply the X with that number and the 24. Same thing with this. So let's get to it. So this would be 39.6X minus 39.6 times 24, right? Yeah, 950.4. Believe it or not, these are kind of fun. But I'm, I'm just a, I love doing math. I don't know. Long story short, <laughs> Whenever we, my friends and I, we would go out, I would always be, I would always be doing math problems on like the napkin. We would like do math problems. And that just shows you how much fun I really have in life. <laughs> oh gosh. But anyway, 753.12x minus, uh, this time's 85. Big number. Don't be scared. Write it down. We got this. 6415.2. Okay. Now, the next thing that I would do is I would just distribute this negative. Get rid of these black parentheses. You're just basically turning the symbols over, right, or the signs. So this would be a negative value, and this would be a positive because you're multiplying by a negative 1. So I'm just going to get rid of these, and I'm just going to say that this is the negative and this is the positive. Now let's get the X's on one side and the numbers on the other, right? So I'm going to do this in one shot. So I'm going to plus the 753.12X on both sides. And that's going to cross this whole thing out. And then I'm going to move the number over. So I'm going to plus 950.4. And 
we get this whole thing out. And now let's see, we get 39.6 plus 753.12. So I get 792.72 x equals 64015.2 plus 950.4. 64965.6. And then last but not least, let's solve for that x, right? Divide 792.72. Beautiful. And maybe I'll just put the answer up here. So I got, let's see, x equals. Six, uh, this number, 64965.6 divided by the 792.72, and we get roughly 81.95. Uh, I'll round it to 82. So we get 82. Woohoo! So what's the final temperature when the two become equal? Only 82 degrees Celsius. So this would be 82. And this would be 82. And look at that, right? Not a lot of drop here in the coffee, but a whole lot of gain in the aluminum, right? From 24 to 82 versus uh, 85 to 82. That's why, you know, uh, it takes so long for water to change temperature, as we all have seen watching water boil. Because the specific heat of water, a.k.a. the coffee, is way higher than the specific heat of aluminum. If a substance has a low specific heat, it will shoot up in temperature in a, in a flash. The higher the specific heat, the longer time it takes to heat up that certain substance. So what's the final temp? 82 degrees Celsius. Now for letter B, the first time a student solved this problem, aka did this whole thing, they got 88. Explain why this is not the correct answer. We kind of basically went over this, right? What did we say, guys? The final temperature has to be somewhere in between 82 and 85. They got 88. That's clearly why it's incorrect. The final temp can never be higher than, you know, the 85. It can never be higher than... 85, we'll say. And it can never be lower than 24. So if they did the calculation and they got like a 20, yeah, that's wrong too. But there you go. All right, guys? Hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope, you know, this helped you in your class. Let me know in the comments. Love talking to you guys, all right? Good luck on all your future tests and quizzes. I'm rooting for you guys. And let's do more problems. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.